Hi everyone, welcome to the Training on Docs 14 SP2 Bootcamp session. This recording contains a collective spaces, technical overview topic, and other topics you can find in other recordings. Let's start. So, technical overview. Uh, I will cover the white space, uh, white, white space handling here, custom, custom configuration, data specialized schema, and position recovery. White space handling. So, let's see on the left side, you can see how the content uh, looked in 14SP1 version. As you see here, a lot of uh, white spaces. And after the current implementation in 14SP2, you can observe the content and an order list in a proper way. So, and so here to make it available, uh, we made uh, two parts of improvements. First improvement is on backend part is uh, uh, about removing this additional white spaces uh, right in content that is stored in our repository. And second part uh, is uh, about the uh, front end, is about the process when the user is editing the content. So uh, we covered both these cases. And uh, white space handling is uh, uh, available to be enabled or disabled inside the web config in uh, HCM and sections related to collective spaces. And so uh, uh, enable and disable is possible by using the each deploy command led. And so uh, more details you can find inside uh, each deploy recording for the bootcamp 14 SP2 version. So, let's move to the Collective Spaces custom configuration. Uh, we provide a list of options to configure the Collective Spaces for the customer needs. As we know that some customers use our out-of-the-box setup, but there are no standard process, as no standard schema that all customers use and that would suit to all customers. So we provide uh, the options uh, and uh, how to configure the collective spaces to suit their process. Uh, so, first things is uh, a service or feature enablement. So, uh, draft space and review space is disabled out of the box, so user can enable them. Uh, deep link for, from publication manager to collective spaces is also under feature toggle. And document history is uh, add on to the draft space that also uh, could be enabled or disabled. Uh, also, we provide options uh, to uh, enable or disable options uh, for image upload and, uh, or and to choose in which cases uh, Users should see the metadata form when they created a new version of their document or created a new image. So, and so, uh, it's possible to choose a relevant or needed status to show the documents as ready to review. And it's possible to choose one or several one and or several statuses. And so some thinker are on annotation level is also available for configuration, like uh, annotation types or resolving resolution types. And for sure the data specialized schema and so enable data specialization without compilation and so it's allowed to configure by using known technology like XML or XPath uh, and custom config is done in behavior config XML on the file system under the web folder. So, 
So let's dive a bit in details. Uh, so uh, enable collective spaces uh, uh, possible are uh, we are used deployer and customer can choose do they want to enable draft space or review space or both of them and more details on this topic inside the reach deploy section and I want to emphasize that collective spaces respect uh, the uh, CMS uh, or the 3D on top CMS so uh, the collective space have the same deployment as the CMS so no additional installers and collective spaces use the same authentic authentication and authorizations uh, mechanism and the same workflow and so the uh, metadata is based on the same metadata configuration XML file. Uh, so we're getting the deep link from publication manager to collective spaces. It's possible to set the proper link inside the uh, connection configuration XML or in account properties and this feature is under feature toggle and that this means that we use deploy customer can enable or disable deep, deep link from publication manager to collective spaces and document history in draft space it's an optional add-on that consists of two services font document history and Trisoft font delta xml and the services also can be enabled and configured via each deploy uh, if we are talking about the options to upload an image inside the draft space or uh, the Set, it's possible to set a resolution for upload a new image and so the preview resolution is a default and so why we need these options it's enable our customers who work with rendition management uh, and the whole feature on upload image is under feature toggle so it's possible to enable and disable it and it can be configured uh, in web client in collective spaces settings and also one option so that can be configured is so in case when a new version or inserting an image it's possible to show or not to show the pop-up with the metadata that user should fill in and so there are an options to show always this metadata uh, pop-up with this pop-up with metadata uh, only show if uh, there are uh, required fields uh, inside uh, this uh, metadata form or uh, not to show this pop-up with metadata and here you can see the example how to configure it and so um, it's a very easy way to uh, set the list of annotation categories that customers want to see in their collective spaces instance so out of the box options is uh, editorial general and technical ones but user uh, but customers can choose their own one in CM uh, in collective spaces settings area and the same for resolving resolution types for annotation so here you can see the list of options that can be easier edited buttons uh, next and uh, previous inside the review space allow users to easily jump between topics that is ready to review and it's uh, in customer hands to choose the proper status or statuses uh, 
which should be uh, shown or in the system as a document is ready to review. So here uh, you can see the example of configuration inside the web client in collective spaces settings. So here you can see that two statuses is configured so that user by pressing next and previous can jump between the to be reviewed and to be legally reviewed statuses. And let's move to the detail specialized schema. So, uh, out of the box behavior, uh, so contra uh, collective spaces uh, are uh, have configurations of uh, some uh, DITA 1.3 standard elements and this configuration uh, have uh, uh, different faces so it's uh, uh, included as surrendering behavior, as contextual menu configuration, as top level menus presentation. Uh, so, uh, and so I want to emphasize that there are no fallback mechanism in 14 sp 2 so there are no, um, in, uh, so uh, the child of specialized elements uh, not inherit uh, the behavior of the parent one, so each element should be specified inside the behavior config XML if it should be specialized. And so let's see what steps a customer should pretend to configure their own custom schema. So first of all, they need to add their DGDs and schemas in Doctypes folder uh, and to add entries uh, to the catalog uh, XML and catalog mapping XML. Run uh, the relevant each deploy command to, to uh, validate the configuration XML, to compile the schemas uh, to the font uh, to the format that font I use, uh, to, the, to write the schema location config, and to restart the collective spaces application pool. After this, the customer should configure custom elements or override the out-of-the-box elements in behavior config XML, and once again, run as each deploy command led. So, answer after the finishing answer as, as, uh, as they should to copy generated files to the production server to adopt uh, uh, the changes. And so we already mentioned this uh, behavior config XML here, and so what is it? Uh, so, um, once again, that's out of the box uh, uh, installation of collective spaces uh, uh, contain some hard coded uh, uh, data 1.3 elements. Um, so, and so from out of the box, this behavior config XML is empty yeah, because all uh, elements that user can observe is hard coded and included in uh, the uh, current font instance. And so, um, uh, uh, in case that user, if user wants uh, to change uh, their current behavior, they need to edit behavior config XML. And it's allow users to define uh, their own specialized elements, uh, which uh, don't appear in the out of the box, or overwrite the element that already was included in out-of-the-box configurations. And so, like example here, so uh, by default, uh, the configured uh, options or configured beha behaviors of the element is merged. So, in case if uh, in out-of-the-box, uh, the element uh, is shown as a bolt, and in behavior config we set uh, uh, to this element uh, as a behavior to show the content as italic, uh, and result would be to make the content bold and italic at the same time. So to fully rewrite the all out of the box behavior, uh, the additional uh, comments should be used like uh, clear uh, clear behavior. So, and so, 
to uh, define the new behavior of the uh, out-of-the-box element or uh, to the elements that's not included in out-of-the-box. So one of the patterns presented below should be used like a block, inline, image, list, define. Uh, and so it's uh, possible to, sh uh, to uh, configure uh, should this element be presented in contextual menu or not. And there are an options uh, uh, to not uh, to present uh, the uh, elements inside the contextual menu. Uh, and so, um, in case if the specialized elements should be shown in the uh, top menus, uh, it also can be configured, and all site specialized elements would be shown under custom menu item. In the example, you can see that uh, toggle bolt and toggle keyboard is presented inside the custom one. And the more uh, details you can find in the relevant behavioral config XML documentation. Uh, so, and let's switch on a bit technical details on uh, lazy loading. Uh, so, uh, when the uh, user opens the uh, big publications, uh, so the all root maps and uh, submaps are loaded from the start. And then, um, yeah, enough titles are injected in every map uh, upon the loading and so to allow to uh, navigate uh, through it. Um, your answer, um, I want to emphasize, sir, um, that sir, the scroll bars and content area is uh, uh, work reasonably accurate with the outlines area here, so the user uh, will get a smooth experience here. Uh, and so when the user to uh, to choose some kind of topics, so the, uh, inside, let's say, outline or scroll uh, down to it inside the content area, so that means that the system will load uh, this particular topics and the uh, five topic before it and five topic after it. Uh, so uh, the scrolling through the contents would be fast and smoothly for user here because the nearest topic also would be loaded. And so for um, uh, bro yes, for uh, keep uh, the performance uh, and a good uh, level are when the user will scroll down the all uh, topics that are uh, far away from the target one would be unloaded. Uh, yeah. uh, so, rents from uh, new fields uh, uh, of I uh, was uh, added on uh, library, topic, library topics and maps here, and so uh, it contains the first title in our XML value on the XML blob, uh, and so, um, a single value non but mandatory long text field also here. Our oh, year and lazy well, loading is uh, working with a write plugin here, so it also can be easily configured. And there are more details you can get inside the use deploy section here in the other recording of the bootcamp 14 SPT section. Um, and 
it's uh, once again a bit um, uh, recapping. So, in collective spaces, uh, we are working with uh, SSD to 1.3 and some uh, reasonable subset of element and attributes is uh, included and are out of the box uh, and out of the box. And so, yeah, the draft space and review space is once again about the content, so it's uh, not about the layout, it's, um, there are no skinning, so no options to insert a new logo, a new color, or new fonts uh, uh, to show uh, the interface in a relevant way. And so, um, Everybody uh, who have a right uh, to observe the content and have the link to their content, uh, uh, link to, uh, to draft space or review space, here they can work with it. And a bit more, a couple of words on position recovery. Uh, so, uh, in Fortinus P2, uh, we introduced uh, the position recovery mechanism here, so it uh, means it's uh, in case if for the a uh, new revision was created in other tools uh, than draft space, the annotations uh, would keep their proper positions and uh, so their position would be calculate, uh, recalculated. Uh, and so this is uh, uh, the reason uh, why the all specialized uh, document uh, should be configured in a proper way to work with a position uh, recovery. So, here you can see uh, how it's possible or uh, we how this specialized element should be configured by using the ish deploy command let. And so a bit uh, uh, functional architecture on uh, how the position recovery works. So uh, you can see, here you can see us so when the uh, font uh, fronted part is uh, sent as a call to the HCS uh, to uh, get the proper uh, document history to get the proper uh, revision here. Uh, so, the, our InfoShare font review uh, apps uh, uh, would uh, receive the uh, proper revision so that uh, the HCS can obey the annotation in a proper way. And so, um, thank you for listening. Uh, it was recording about collective spaces uh, technical overview for the Trillion Docs uh, 14 SP2 version and see you in other bootcamp for 14 SP2 recordings. Thank you.